mentioned St Francis of Assisi there, and, and you mentioned him several times in the yeah. book as a great role model. Another role model that you uphold in the book is Billy Graham. Yes, that's a good combination, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Billy Graham is, uh, is perhaps uh, the, the man who created modern evangelicalism in America. If I was to say who was it that created this great movement that now has uh, listed about 55 million Americans, I would say Billy Graham was there. Up until Billy Graham, evangelicals were a kind of persecuted sect group within mainline Christianity. Now it is such a huge group in America that Martin Marty, the theologian from University of Chicago, refers to mainline denominations no longer as mainline denominations, but as he calls them, sidelined mm -hmm. uh, denominations, because evangelicalism has become so big. But it was Billy Graham that led the way in this, uh, with his crusades and the creating of Christianity Today and giving, giving uh, legitimacy to a kind of evangelicalism that was meaningful, compassionate, made sense. But I'm afraid that that movement has moved away from where Billy Graham was. He himself, because I know him personally, is alarmed with what evangelicalism has become in America today. It, it isn't the evangelicalism that he had hoped it to be. The ripples of what he's, he's done are going to stretch on for years. Oh, think, yes. Like. And, and, and the United Kingdom. Has yes. Been, I mean, you folks over here have been incredibly impacted by, uh, by, by Billy Graham. I, I was just talking to um, a couple of men last night when I was down at South End by the Sea. And I said, how did you become? Oh, when Billy Graham mm -hmm. came to this country, I went to hear him and it, it changed my life. Mm -hmm. So, yes, he has had his impact. You use a phrase, Tony, in the book. I'm going to read it to make sure I get it accurate. You say, um, you're not yet what you should be or would be, but you're also not what you were. Yes. I think that uh, so often we have communicated to the world outside of the Christian faith that when you have this conversion experience, when the Holy Spirit invades you, that you become instantaneous saint, yes. you know, uh, that uh, somehow you have left all of the ways of the world behind you, and now you're walking with Jesus. Come on, you know, yeah. I mean, come on, let's be real here. Uh, the truth is um, that uh, before I became a Christian, I had certain lustful desires. After I became a Christian, I had certain lustful desires. Uh, you say, what changed? I don't give in to them quite as much as I used to. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> yeah, I don't give in to so them. So I'm quite. safe, am I? <laughs> I, I? Here's what I always say to my students. I say, Christians aren't sinless, but every day they do sin less. Mm -hmm. We're not sinless, but we do sin less. And Paul uses that wonderful phrase in the uh, third chapter of Philippians, the 13th and 14th verse. Not as though I have already attained. I'm still pressing, pressing towards the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. A lady said to me, you're supposed to be a Christian. I know non-Christians that are better than you are. My response is always the same. If they're so wonderful without Jesus, can you imagine how wonderful they'd yes. be with Jesus? Yeah. And if you think I'm so rotten with Jesus, can you imagine what I'd be like without Jesus? <laughs> so yes, that's what I mean when I say it's, I'm it's, not quite there yet.